Welcome back to Pizza Tower Noise Update! Freaking styling on that skateboard, dude. It's time to get extreme because we're rocketing, once we get there, to the second floor of this pizza tower. Do you ever think Noise, with his six skills on a skateboard, ever thinks he's ever... He's going way too fast, and then he goes, hada, 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 Stop, 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 stop! So I came to a realization the, uh, when I was getting this footage. Uh, a couple of realizations. First of all, uh, I'm not good at this. Like, I can hold my own a little bit as regular Pepino, because regular Pepino, he's like, you know... He, he is foreign to this. He, he is uh, a scared... Fat Italian man in a strange, chaotic world. He is but a visitor trying to eke his way out as he climbs his pizza tower. Noise, however, he feels like an agent of this chaos. He is all a part of it because he is way more erratic. It is way more difficult to control him, and it just makes the game a lot harder, but a lot more faster as a result. So, I mean, this is why he's an optional character. He's not the main character, he's just here as a DLC update. So, cl so clearly I am not an agent of chaos. I, I am merely just a tourist. Okay, I'll... So the difference is I'm just I'm just not very good at this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm already like... This, this game is making me sweat. My body temperature is rising, my blood pressure is increasing as I play this. Like, even casually, because it's, it's just so intense. The noise makes it, like, he's, 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 he's very slippery, and I don't, I don't think I'm using the best D-pad for this as well, because he's just going all over the place, because D-pads, it, it, movements changed different, it, it... Just go to Mac yeah. keyboard, silly person. Well, you think I'm that crazy? What if it suddenly made the noise playable? Like, you go to Mac keyboard, and then he slows down, puts a suit on, and then just goes... Hmm, yes. Let us, uh, enjoy our time in the pizza tower. Did we miss that? That would... well, that would mean that... Oh well, yeah, because I, I, I can't figure out how to get the speed for it. Mm. As, the, as the noise, at least. Because he, he has, like, uh, eight more moves than Pepino does, and they all do different <laughs> things. Uh, it's, uh. Okay, you know how, uh... <laughs> you know in the hit movie Flubber, when you throw it, it just keeps gaining energy, and it uh, bounces all over the place? Yeah. I'm seeing that right now. <laughs> well, we still get the fire power up, which kind of works the same way. He just jumps a little, a little bit higher. Oh, that's kind of neat. Just, you know, moving at his usual increased noise stats. Do you know if the, uh, if Dev was working on noise at the same time as the initial game, or was this a strictly, the game is released, I've got an idea for some DLC? Apparently, he was always planned. Interesting. Noise was always planned as a character. He, he like, he... This, this has been in the making about as long as the game itself. So I wonder if, you know, main game gets done, sees speedrunners go ape with it, and then goes, well, Noise can be fast. I already had him planned in the game, why not make him, like, extremely fast and difficult to move. I've been hearing rum uh, rumors of a co-op mode. I still hear that. But now, since the, the release of this episode, the devs have confirmed they are working on something not Pizza Tower related. Okay. Maybe just put on the back burner for now? Maybe later? I think this might be the last bit of Pizza Tower we're gonna see for a little bit, but... I would not mind seeing what McPig and the others are up to. Because if they make something this crazy and with this much aesthetic, I can't wait to see what they do next. Absolutely. Like, as soon as it's released, it's just like, hey, what's up? One of my great philosophies is uh, something that Lauren Lanning, creator of Oddworld, said. He said a great uh, game development studio is like when a great band comes together to do, a, to do an album, you know? Because it's sounds of people coming together under one under under one uh, vision, one idea, and create something remarkable together. Thank God this is just a mid six out of ten. Duh! <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't even say that with a straight face. Oh yes, uh, it can't be a six out of ten. It's a five point five at the most. <laughs> just like Pizza Hut, am I wrong? And, ju and, and just like pizza, any pizza that's a five point five is fucking good as hell. Yeah. Have you noticed that if you go to a pizza joint and it looks kind of run down, that, that the pizza's always just, like, slightly better in all the competition? Uh, that might go for, like, 
almost every food joint. If it looks like you're going to be killed and never seen again, chances are the food is busted. I don't, I don't know how that works. I mean, it sounds to me like you need to eat at better restaurants. At cleaner restaurants, too. Well, that's what I'm talking about. And restaurants in less crime-riddled areas. Yeah, of course, you gotta avoid the restaurants at the gentrified, white, you know, upper-class neighborhoods, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, if the cleaner it is, the more by the books it is. And then you go to a place that looks like, all right, they need to do just a tad bit of cleaning, but the food is just amazing. You see, I think, I think name has a lot to do with it. Like, uh, we, we got a lot of ma and pop pizza stores around here, you know, like named after people, like, uh, to, not, not specific examples, but like, you know, uh, uh, Branson's Pizza, uh, Jebediah's Pizza. No, I'll go with that. Uh, Rob... Rob and John and Jones Pizza. There you go. See, there is some merit to the the chain stores, but if given a choice of let's say Papa John's versus Ma and Pa shop, I'm hitting up the Ma and Pa shop first. I haven't had a Ma and Pa in a while, though. I am tempted to. Though. Well, they're kind of going extinct in our area. <laughs> they, they kind of are, but we still we still got a couple here and there. Yes, and they are good, or at least. So some of them are adequate, the other ones are insanely good. Now when it comes to uh, pizza places that are named after a building, like a hut, or a barn, hmm. or a cottage, or, or a, a John's. town, or a John's, <laughs> which is where they get it, of course. <laughs> Straight from the toilet. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Papa John's, the day of reckoning is here. <laughs> you are so destroyed. The day of reckoning is here. Flush! <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Oh, hey, beans! I can go back beans. to Papa John's after this! Finally! Got the beans. Mm. It's, but it's hard to tell with those places. Like, you know, sometimes you get, uh, See, I like Pizza Hut. I don't, like, love it or anything, but I like it. They do good sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with you on the sometimes. There have been times where I got absolute trash from Pizza Hut. So, your mileage may vary when it can- like, like, Pizza Mart. Like like a building. This place right here, Pizza Mart. Yeah, Pizza Mart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more like a like a convenience store than anything else. But uh, yeah, they, they got they got wings. They got they got they got a slaughterhouse in here apparently. Oh jeez. Which is a uh, you know a secret I guess. For all your pizza needs. What's the? Oh no. I think this may have been asked during the series, but I think it needs repeating. What's yeah. the oddest combination of pizza you've ever had? Oddest combination of well, you see, I don't really go out of my comfort zone too much. I've talked about the mushroom story, where you know instead of getting the delicious sliced and uh, crispy mushrooms that I wanted, I got an entire can's worth of slimy, you know, disgusting mushrooms. I re but, but but in terms of like combination of pizza, you know, I, ha I I don't I don't ever go up outside my comfort zone. I recently had some pizza, and this was a couple coworkers. They brought in some pizza and said, yeah, this is my own personal combination, give it a try. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. They won me over because of, uh, how they got, explained it. Got fucking pineapples and they say, nah, I need something more unique than that. You got anchovies, nah, I need my own personal flair to this. Whatever did he add to this pizza? Uh, it was... Uh, pesto. A little bit of onion. So just a touch of garlic, just to give it the flavor, not to overly kill it. Prosciutto, and peppers and jalapenos. You lost me on the onions and the peppers, but I don't like Supreme Pizza that much. It was extremely good. Some of those sound pretty good, though, because I've had, like, salami on pizza before. That is... that's nice. Prosciutto is so good. <laughs> That's not- that doesn't sound too bad, actually. It was honestly pretty good, and then they had, uh, whipped, uh, burrata on the side for, like, dipping in some bread. That I just used the crust. That poor burrata. It was good. I didn't realize I just killed, uh, Pepper Man, but okay. You killed him twice? Yeah. Like, he's just gone? Well, I mean, he'll come back after we uh, come back to the hub world, but right. he's- I, I, I got rid of him. Scratch my back, big boy! Uh, yeah, 190 at... Er, wait, 150 open the door. 
So we gotta do one more stage. That's the one I'm looking for, the one I practice. Here we go. Boneyard? Next up is Waste Yard! Okay, that Windows 95 3D noise. That's the good stuff right there. These, these guys understand aesthetic to a degree we will never understand. They are they are masters of it. So uh, I, I need to find the name of the game. There there is essentially a uh, game programmer who's just messing around a little bit and made a game that essentially takes you back to like between the years 1991 and 1995. Hyperspace Outlaw. No. Because it's not an actual game, it's just an experiment. They're just messing around, they made the aesthetic, they said, hey, I put like a couple mini games in here, it was never meant to be seen by anybody, but here it is, enjoy. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, you, turn, you turn as a ghost as uh, the noise in this also, but he works a little different, we'll get to him later. I really want to see ghost noise. I could just hear him in the night. Nobody's around. Pizza! Then you cry. There we go. The game is or game is called Frog Days, a 90s inspired point and click adventure. Oh. It's one of those where they just give you a screen. It's like, here's a bunch of stuff you can mess around with. Just mess around with it. And it looks so crazy. It's even got, like, pop-ups and everything. It's fantastic. You want to know what's nostalgia for me? What's that? Did you ever play any educational games as a kid? Or, like, you know, uh, like, PC kids games as a kid? My brain went to two in particular, but let's hear what you got first. Because mine... I guarantee nobody else played the educational games I had. The one that I remember was... I run from the library quite some, quite often was, uh... The PC games about the Jack Proletsky poem books. I can't for the life of me remember what they're called. Post text will help me with that out. And, uh... Every single line, like, almost every word can be clicked on in that, and, like, they do something, and it's all fully animated. It's actually really badass. Ooh. But really, my, uh, educational game of choice was Encarta 94. Encarta 94? Yeah. I have never heard of that before. Microsoft Encarta 94. It was like an encyclopedia that you get on CD-ROM before Wikipedia <laughs> killed that cold dead. <laughs> And I had a version for Windows 3.1, and it was very nice. And it did, it kind of opened my world, my eyes to the, uh, the world of exotic world music. Ooh. Like, you know, the sounds of the, of the Koto, and I learned to have an affinity for Northern Thailand folk music. See, that sounds extremely educated, and, and I'm about to hit you with some garbage. <laughs> <laughs> with the stuff I grew up with. There's nothing wrong with humongous entertainment, no worries. Oh my god, how did you know? There's nothing <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Those were magical too in a different sort of way. Okay, so besides like the putt putt stuff, the math blaster stuff. See, I never had see Math Blaster was my, was my dig as a kid, but th those were games I played like in uh, in school. Like mm -hmm. we had putt putt at in, in kindergarten, I remember specifically. The games I had at home, and this game was actually my sister's, but I, because I liked every game that came in, I tried to complete it as much as I could. Uh, Blue's Clues uh, Birthday Adventure. Blue's Clues was classic. Like, I... I min, min max Blue's Clues. You min max Blue's? How do you do that? I, I got stupid good at it. This, I, I found the strategies. I knew exactly what to do. It's like, yeah, stupid baby game, I got your number. Uh, I've already mentioned the uh, PC game that was an edutainment numbers game called uh, Stratowakius. And, uh... Oh, shoot, what was the other one? Oh, God. I think there was, like, an Arthur game. Sim Tunes was a big one of my, of my childhood, too. I miss Sim Tunes. 
And actually, uh, one of the edutainment games, oh, oh, oh. or at least a scholastic game, is actually one we played for my channel, I Spy Spooky Mansion. That was a fun one. They don't make them like they used to anymore. I think we've... Yeah, we... We can actually uh, vouch for being that age. Uh, you see something wrong on screen right now? I mean, aside from the ghost noise, who... Uh, mm. He doesn't, like, you know, go fast like Pepina does. He's like this, this boost move. Yeah, he's a little goo ball. A little goo ball. Is he, is he something wrong here? You got a lot of time to get back. We got plenty of time. That's not the issue. It's, it's uh, who's following us? Oh, the janitor. Jerome is following us. Uh, I completely missed the treasure chest door. Oh! Yeah. I, I don't even remember where it was. Oh, uh, see, it's, 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 it's been some time. I'm rusty, and, you know, now the game expects me to be as good as I was and remember everything, but hey, you know. Oh. Well, fine, I'll just leave then. We'll just go lap two. <laughs> Easy fix. Go lap two? Are you are you kidding me? Absolutely, go lap two. Are, 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 why, like, why would I want to go lap two? Well, to get the treasure. All right, let's do it. Okay, cool. One more time! One more time! Might as well show up lap two. I mean, the song is a little different. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't have it. I don't have Come treasure. to Noisette for hugs and kisses. All right, let's try this again. Oh, they... Were those the same stickers? Nope, they're all randomized. Oh my god. Well, that's just fun. All right, well, uh... Yeah, right I... here, and here is the door. Ah, I okay. remember now, yes. Ice cream! Ice cream. This, Ice cream. Yeah, this took me like four or five tries to do lap two. But, here we go. Oh my god, he's actually doing it. He's doing it. I'm doing it. You're committed now. You're gonna show it off. I don't know how many times you're gonna do lap two, but... Maybe for all the ones that I don't get the treasure chest on. You know, yeah, all right. for all the audience out there. What's up? It's your boy. Here's lap two. I am nobody's boy. It's your boy! <laughs> I am your man! It's your pizza boy! I am your man! <laughs> Just imagine if somebody was delivering your pizza and said, Oh, dude, you doing lap two? I'll do it for you. Yeah, that's my boy! My pizza boy! Maybe, uh... Oh, okay, get me on this. Yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, they did the, the whole 30 minutes or less type deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about... So, delivery boy gets my pizza. Right. Hits a stopwatch. Drives to my house. Knocks on my door. I open the door. Hands it to me. Time. And uh, how long do you think it took for him to get to my house? Mmm. Well, if he wants his job, 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes or less, you say? Yeah. All right. So, uh, we'll say it's like 26 minutes. Okay. So now, I have 26 minutes to get back to the restaurant, get a pizza, and come back in that time. Otherwise, I have to pay for both. Interesting. Double or nothing pizza! Double or nothing pizza! Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Especially the part where it's just like, nah, I need another pizza. It's like, it's like, uh, you, you, know, you know, I've already got people here, and, you know. Ooh, guys, I forgot to order a second pizza. I'll be right back. Time. Go. Tick, 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 tick. You call ahead just so you can pick it up and head straight back home. Aha, uh -huh, but that means you paid for two pizzas. Oh, shit. So let's go! Lap two. Here we go. It is tight, let me tell you. No, I bet. Because it's the same timer as what you had before. Mm-hmm. This isn't exactly a stage where the noise can uh, really stretch his wings. Da. Uh, nah. And then that's stuff like that. And ah, then, and no, then wow, please. that was a combo oh, attack. God. That was a combo. Life is unfair. <laughs> Life is simply unfair. Let's go, let's go. I kind of like this theme. It's not bad. It is. It's good for the noise. Yeah, it's definitely upbeat for this character here. 
go, go, go. It almost made me sound like I was going to a museum. It's like, hmm, yeah, so this theme really encapsulates what the noise is all about. Late motifs really uh, speak to the frenetic nature of this character and, and his impish demeanor. Oh, yes, frenetic. That might be word of the day, my friend. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, I saw him turn into a ghost after changing into some gremlin creature. <laughs> oh, God, I only have 30 seconds. Are you kidding? 30 seconds? Jack! Yeah. That's barely enough time to get into your car I to know. deliver your pizza. Yeah. 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 I mean, I got pizza and everything, but here we go. Okay. 16, 15, 15, 14. 14. Oh, man. Oh, Let's oh, see God. it, buddy. Uh, Let's see it. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, oh, five, four, oh my God. three, two, oh, it's a gamer. one, boom! Ah! <laughs> it's still an A. It's, it's, it's still it's still an A though, you know. See, I don't care what you prefer though. It's, it'd be like if I'm delivering a, a Hawaiian pizza and I said, "Eh, I'd prefer a pepperoni." Well, no too matter bad. what you, th I'm I'm the customer. I'm the customer. Well, this one's on the house. Well, let's bring it around town. Next time. On Pizza Tower, the noise update. Look at Glide, look at that.